My name is Chris Ball and this is my colleague Krista McKelvey. We're both from the Electroscience Laboratory at The Ohio State University. We are building and launching a CubeSat, a very small satellite about the size of a large shoebox, looking at microwave radiometry measurements of the Earth or Earth science applications and specifically detecting and removing interference from man-made technologies. Microwave radiometry is commonly used in satellite-based remote sensing of the Earth to yield a wide variety of data products of interest to Earth scientists. These would include water vapor, ocean salinity, soil moisture, ice temperature, and, and so forth. All of these data products come from measuring the natural background radiation emitted by the Earth in the microwave part of the spectrum. Unfortunately, there's also within these measurements a great deal of interference that comes from man-made technologies such as radar systems and communication systems and television signals and things like that. So the, the idea of this project is to detect and remove the sources of interference and leave us just with the background microwave data to support the science measurements. The CUBER project is a technology validation mission testing different hardware and mitigation algorithms in space to help the advancement of this technology on future radiometers. Once we've demonstrated it successfully on our small CubeSat, future missions for NASA will include the interference detection and removal algorithms and processors that we've demonstrated so that they basically reduce the risk of implementing those technologies on future very expensive satellite missions. We'd like to say thanks to our collaborators, the Goddard Space Flight Center, who developed the radiometer front end, JPL, who developed the radiometer backend, as well as Blue Canyon Technologies, who have built and integrated the entire spacecraft.